Hey friends, welcome back to Oso oh Farm. It is actually the same day that I did my Sam's haul. It's that evening and we rallied after dinner to drive into town to Aldi. And now I'm kind of somewhat, I'm thankful that we're done with it, but I feel super exhausted. We're coming off of a hard week of new puppies. So we haven't been sleeping much. So anyways, I am in my pajamas. I've always said that I would do real life here, so. Anyways, let me show you what we got at Aldi. We definitely, I took my husband and my son Isaiah inside with us, and he definitely also noticed some major price increases. What are some things you noticed? Everything. Everything. I mean, chips, bread, Everything. Tortillas. Oh, the tortillas. Yeah, they were really pricey. Um, produce. Everything. Cereal. Okay. So let me show you what we got. Okay. I got the microwave popcorn. I got 12 of the sea salt and 12 of the movie butter. And both of these will be gone within a month. And again, I only bought a few boxes of granola bars. I got these cashew ones and then these cereal bars. I got the raspberry this time. And then two things of crackers, two boxes of vanilla wafers. Woo, everything's falling. Whoa. <laughs> okay. And then here is our case of yogurt for Evan. And this is my what I'm gonna use for my yogurt starter. We make homemade yogurt in the Instapot a few times a month. And just like the last few months, this may seem like a lot of cereal, but this is probably three mornings of cereal for us. So we just kind of got a variety, the Frosted Flakes, the Fruit Rounds, Honey Wheat Puffs, Raisin Bran, Shredded Wheat, and then this Vitality. We got four bags of these tortilla chips. If these are not monitored, all these chips will be gone within a week. So I'll have to kind of space them out. And then I got these two, these thin pretzels. These are really yummy as a snack. Here is Evan's yogurt bites. He has started therapies up again, OTPT and speech. We had been on hold for some authorization issues with insurance and so thankfully those are starting back up next week and so we use he eats about a half a bag of these during one therapy as like a bribery and reward system works out really good okay so two boxes of taco shells on a side note our hens have started laying and these are our eggs from one day so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten eggs i need to wash them and get them in the fridge and Last month, I bought three boxes of the 60 eggs and then it wasn't enough. So thankfully, our hens have started laying. It won't be enough to completely supply us all of our eggs, but it is gonna be a huge help. Real life dishes in the sink. We had that yummy, or they had that yummy pizza from Sam's for dinner. I only got four packages of butter. The butter was $3.50 almost a box, which seems so pricey to me. So until I really planned out what baking things we were gonna do for the freezer, I didn't just wanna go crazy. And then this is really good to have on hand. The expiration date is not until, let's see, November of 23. And so you just keep this in your refrigerator and anytime you're doing like a stir fry, instead of, instead of having to cut fresh ginger, you just kind of squeeze this out. Super convenient. I want to say this was two or three dollars. Three packages of the spreadable butter. This absolutely will be gone. My kids love some butter. Two milks. I would have to look at the receipt. Oh, hold on. My cat is eating this plant. Do your cats eat your plants? I don't know, this is Maya. I'll just tell you what this is. So we have our dinner club tomorrow night and this is my gift for the host. And I thought these were really pretty. This was from Aldi, this was $7.99. These are Impatience, this little hanging basket. So I was really happy to find that. That'll be 
a nice gift for my friend Karen. Okay, two milks. I don't remember how much they cost. They were pretty equal to what Sam's was. And really, until I get that 90 pound, or 80 or 90 pounds of meat, whatever it was, out of my refrigerator, I can't stockpile all of my milk. So two packages of just the American cheese slices for grilled cheese, four things of biscuits, two of the hazelnut creamers for the month. I'll come over here. So they had the peaches, which I think I bought at Sam's. I can't remember now if I bought peaches or oranges. Lord, it's been a long day. So I've got the oranges there. They did not have the pears that I was hoping for, so I will add that to my Walmart pickup order. We just got a few things of cookies. My daughter Esme loves these fig bars, so I got one package for her. And then I haven't seen this there before. These are those hard, thin, iced oatmeal cookies. I love these so much. I wish they were gluten-free. We normally get these at Drug Emporium, but they had some there and they were under two, I think they were 220 something a jar. And I just went ahead and picked them up here. So I got one red plum, one peach, one sh two strawberries. And then I got one big bottle of red wine vinegar. I use this for cooking a lot. And then two of their tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. I want to say this went up like 40 cents from last month. And I don't know exactly how many I have in my stockpile. So I just grabbed two just in case. One Italian dressing and then two honey mustards. One box of Winking Owl wine. This is Evan's um, little rice rest for the month. Let's see. Okay, up here is produce, two things of baby carrots, two things of onions. Their mangoes were on sale for, I'm gonna say 69 cents a piece, so I don't have a plan for them. I just went ahead and picked up two since they were on sale. The cilantro was seven, I think 69 or 70 cents. I remember it wasn't too long ago that this would be under 40 cents, so I only picked up two of those. Celery, their grapes were on sale. I don't remember how much, but I know their green grapes were on sale. Two things of bananas. I have, when I cleaned out my freezers to kind of make inventory before I shopped, I have quite a bit of frozen bananas left. So these will just be bananas that we eat over the next couple of days. They may even be gone this weekend. Their pineapples were on sale for $1.69 each. So we got two of those. This five count of pita bread. This is really good for one lunch. If I make a lot of tuna fish sandwiches, if I cut these in half, really one half of this filled with tuna is kind of equal to a whole sandwich if we have like chips and maybe a fruit cup. So that's one lunch. I only bought these two things of tortillas because they were almost two dollars a package for just 10 so I just could not stomach I mean we eat so many tortillas so I wanted to kind of price around before I bought as many as we would need and then I bought this raisin cinnamon bread I'm gonna put this in the freezer my daughter Evelyn that's away at college will be home her finals I think in like a week and a half, and she loves to have this in the morning, so I'm gonna put that in the freezer up for her. I Their gluten-free bread is okay, so I went ahead and got that. I'm gonna put that in the freezer. I only needed three things of bagels. We do bagels with cream cheese on Tuesday mornings, so I had, I think, two packages in the freezer that we'll use up first, and then get those in there. My husband has really been liking these English muffins with egg and sausage and cheese in the morning and then sometimes we also make pizzas out of those for lunch and then you saw the plant I think that's it okay so that is it for Aldi we have made a big dent in our once a month grocery shopping I'm still kind of shocked by how much in just one month prices have gone up. I've noticed when I've, I've been working on my um, Walmart pickup order, I usually do that one last because at that point I've actually made my tangible menu, not just things that I know we'll eat for the month. And their box of eggs was over $15. So 
So I feel like it went from 10 to 13 to 15 in a matter of like three months. So leave me a note in the comment of some of the things in the comments below of some of the things that you have noticed have really increased in price. So if you are new here, we would love to have you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are not familiar with our family, we are a large homeschooling family that lives in Central Texas. So I have primarily teenagers, and so this is why we have this much food for one month. Okay, friends, thanks for watching, and we will see you again here real soon with our next grocery haul for the month of May. Hope y'all are doing well. Bye.